Hey, this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular Kitchen Gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today, I want to show you how to make leek and potato soup in your slow cooker. Well, before we dive into this recipe, I just wanted to suggest that you head over to RecipeThis.com. We've got more than 1,200 Kitchen Gadget recipes, including recipes for the air fryer, instant pot, slow cooker, soup maker, bread maker, microwave, ninja foodie, and many others. We also have a free weekly newsletter, which you can find on the homepage of RecipeThis.com, or you can find it on RecipeThis.com forward slash newsletter. And there you can get our best Kitchen Gadget recipes sent to your inbox every Friday morning. So, a slow cooker leek and potato soup. I ended up doing this because I had loads of leftover potatoes and some leeks that need using up. And it was absolutely delicious and has become my favourite soup to make in the slow cooker. And I just thought it would be great to do your video as well, showing you how easy it is and how you can just dump in the ingredients, come back later with a hand blender, and then you have perfectly creamy leek and potato soup. And then, of course, you just need some bread to go with it. So, the question you're probably wondering is, what do you actually need to make potato and leek soup? Well, of course, potatoes and leek. You can also use potatoes that are not at the best. Let's say you've got loads of leftover potatoes and leeks and you don't want to go down the food waste route. Well, it's just a fantastic last minute. And then as well as that, I recommend some salt and pepper, some butter, because everybody, t everything tastes better with butter, of course. Some Greek yogurt. I love the uh, zero fat uh, from Aldi. It's absolutely delicious. And then some seasoning of choice. I'm going with thyme, basil and parsley, but whatever you've got. And then the most important ingredient that makes it taste the most flavoursome is some stock. You know, if you're a vegetarian, you can stick with veggie stock, but it really doesn't matter. I've used chicken stock before in my soups. Uh, and then of course, the biggest problem with the leeks is that they can be really, really gritty if you don't wash them first. So I recommend a colander so that you can actually give your leeks a good wash before they go in the slow cooker. So that's the main ingredients you need. So let's get started, shall we? So this is a quantity of uh, leek and potato that I like to go with uh, for your standard soup. You can do more, you can do less. Of course, this depends on the size of your slow cooker. And then what I also like to do is any leftovers into freezer containers. You can freeze it for another day and you can even water it down uh, and use it as a stock, as an alternative to a vegetable stock. So the leek I've got here, you know, it's gone a bit bad on the outside, so I'm just going to strip one layer off and then it'll be good. But it's very, very soily is this leek that we've got. So like I've mentioned, you will need to give it a good wash. So then slice up your leek. And then as you can see, just look at how soily that is. It really does need a good wash. There you have it, there's your leeks. They're ready to be washed. So we're just gonna put those to one side and then we can work on the potatoes. And obviously the potatoes don't need washing. So what you can do at this point is take the lid off your slow cooker and then once they're ready, you can load your potatoes straight in there. Uh, I recommend for about a kilo, so that's 2.2 pounds of potatoes, but it depends on how many you want to do. I mean, the bag we're using is a two and a half kilo bag and we've left about just under half in there. So we're about halfway through a bag. You can use whatever's comfortable for peeling them with. You can use a peeler if you prefer, or if you want, because you're just blending them anyway, you could actually do skin on potatoes for your leek and potato soup and that will speed you up. Have a look under those peelings. No, oh, I've got them all. So that's all your potatoes peeled. So now you can slice them up as you load them into the slow cooker. And 
Wow, we've got a good sized portion there of potatoes. So if you take a little bit closer. And they're just perfect for making soup. Note that there's not many of us eating this soup, so we haven't done a big batch, but you could do three times the amount we're doing in your slow cooker, depending on which one you have. So now I'm gonna go and clean those leeks. So we have our wonderful clean leeks, and they're now perfect uh, for loading into the slow cooker. Of course, you can buy prepared leeks, but unfortunately, when we went shopping, they didn't have any left, but these are better than nothing. So load them into your slow cooker, and then we're going to add in the seasonings. So you want loads of salt, plenty of pepper, and then you can mix and match seasonings depending on what you're into. I'm going with some basil, good old parsley, never goes wrong in a soup. And then of course, uh, one of my favorite seasonings, which is on the new jar here, which is some thyme. And then on top of that, you want to add in some little chunks of butter because this is what makes the soup taste amazing. What I recommend you do is you just chop it into some small chunks like this, and then you can just load it in. And then that's enough. You don't need huge quantities of it. And then last but not least, let's add in the stock. The slow cooker's not turned on yet, so I can literally just put my hands in there and it's not gonna burn me. And then, as you can see, the stock's kind of three quarters of the way up. That's kind of the height you're looking for. And then when we're done, if it's too thick, what we can do is we can add in some extra milk. And then if you feel it's not thick enough, you can add in extra Greek yogurt. So it's very easy to play about your soup to get it to the right texture that you want. So then once you've done that, time for it on. And then you're looking to put it up to high and we're looking for four hours because we've got some chunky pieces of potatoes there and we need to be able to blend those. So we're looking for four hours or until your potatoes are mushy. And if you want to do this and you're at work all day, then you can do eight hours on low, uh, seven to eight hours on low and it'll be fine. So you, what you could actually do is prep this, put the crock pot in the fridge overnight and then just before you're heading out the door to go to work, Put it on low and then you can come home and blend it and it's just lovely so the slow cooker's uh, finished its cooking time and now it's just a case of finishing off to make your creamy leek and potato soup so I lid off the slow cooker it's already nicely seasoned so it doesn't need anything else but if you taste test it and feel like it does then you can add in some extra salt and pepper and then i recommend Uh, a good couple of dollops of Greek yogurt for the creaminess. Remember, you've still got the butter in there, so it's going to be a lovely one still. And then grab your favourite hand blender. This is our favourite. We picked it up from uh, Lidl and we just love it. It's just so fast and simple. So then you start whisking it up. There you have it, there's your leek and potato soup. Now, go and choose your favourite ladle and then you want to be loading it into bowls. There you have it, there's, there's a bowl of it. I'm just gonna wait for it to cool down a little bit before I uh, tuck in because seriously, that is piping hot. And this is the leek and potato soup and I love how thick and creamy it is. I mean, look at that for thickness. Isn't that fantastic? Mm. And it tastes really good as well. So if you want a simple soup recipe that you can make at home, then this is for you. Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to the Recipe This family. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest. We also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. 
as well as this we recommend that you subscribe to our youtube channel and then whenever we have a new video you will be the first to know and if you want to know about all our future videos then i recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications but even better we now have a podcast it's called magic with gadgets simply search magic with gadgets on your favorite podcast player and you'll find us there